Hello everybody, hope you're doing great today. In this 5 Minute Friday video, I'm going to talk about putting your home in an LLC. Now why would you want to put your home in an LLC? Basically you're transferring the title of your home into an LLC, a limited liability corporation, limited liability company, to protect that home from potential of being sued for some reason or another. Whether it's you as an individual or you as a business, we live in a very litigious society. Somebody slips and falls on your business, somebody slips and falls walking on your driveway, there's a chance you could be sued by that person. So by putting your home in an LLC, it's one way to shield it. If somebody is suing you individually, you were in an accident, somebody got hurt, they're blaming you, you're being sued. They can sue you personally, go after your personal assets, but if your home is in an LLC, generally if that LLC has been set up properly, everything is being done properly, the chances of the judgment being going after your home are much lower. Before you put your home in an LLC, you need to understand though that if you have a mortgage on your home, and it's a typical conventional mortgage, your 30-year mortgage, VA mortgage, FHA mortgage, USDA mortgage. Most of those mortgages are gonna have a due on sale clause. And what the due on sale clause means is if you transfer the title of that home to anybody else, to anything else, the lender can consider that a transfer under the due on sale clause and demand immediate payment of the mortgage. So even if you own that LLC, you're the only owner of the LLC, you transfer your home into that LLC, the lender finds out, they can send you a letter saying, pay up your mortgage, you transfer the house under the due on sale clause, and we consider the mortgage due. So prior to doing that, if you do have a mortgage on your home, sit down with an attorney, bring in your mortgage note, have the attorney look at it, and find out if you have that due on sale clause and what are the risks involved. Now, if you own your home free and clear, you either purchased the home with cash or you paid off the mortgage, there's no longer a mortgage on it, then putting it in an LLC is an easy thing to do. Talk with your local title company, see if they're able to assist you with that, or talk with a local real estate attorney. They should definitely be able to assist you with that. It's not a very complicated process. There might be some fees involved, changing the ownership, as well as paying the title company for their, their time or the attorney for their time. But once done, like I said, it's an easy process. It's in the LLC and it will stay in there until you decide to sell that property at a later time. So the primary benefit of having an LLC is gonna be that legal liability protection. In case you are sued individually for some reason or another, that home is in a separate entity. Assuming the LLC has been set up properly, it's been running properly, it's not found to be illegitimate, that, that LLC is gonna protect your home. As a real estate investor, it's also important to protect your assets in an LLC. Same type of rule as with the owner-occupied home with a conventional mortgage. If you have a conventional mortgage on anything from a one to four unit family, then you will usually be subject to the same due on sale clause rule. So always sit down with your attorney, ask them, do I have a due on sale clause in my mortgage? And what are the risks if I transfer my property to an LLC? Now, if you have a commercial mortgage, generally the commercial lenders want properties to be put into an LLC so that way the collateral that's being used to secure the loan is protected against any personal acts of the owner. The owner is sued for whatever reason. That property is an LLC. That's not going to affect the collateral that the bank has for their mortgage. But anytime there's a mortgage involved, whether it's conventional or even commercial mortgage, it's always best to ask the lender what are the rules. That way, if the commercial lender is fine with you switching it into an LLC, they probably just want to know, okay, send me the document, send me the paperwork so we can update our records. They're happy, you're happy, and you're good to go. So thank you for watching this 5 Minute Friday video. Hope that was useful for you. Please feel free to leave comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see in future 5 Minute Friday videos, any topics you'd like to see. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.